Good day, LWS family. Here we are again for favorite time of the week, Ron's audio chat number series 40. And we have Mr. Mouse, myself, and Ron are, uh, let's see, you are the overseer. Overseer, but the number one commodity of this chat. <laughs> Yo, bless your heart. Couldn't do it without you, Ron. You're, you're the superstar. So how are you feeling today? Good? Good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we have some wonderful questions from the members, and we can get started right now if you are ready. Yes. Perfect. Can you give insight on the scripture that reads, not my will, but thy will be done? How does this fit with our will and God's will? It's an interesting question, and <clears throat> this is one of those scriptures that I would refer to that was created by the cabal who do not know that we are creators, children of God. God is, is not human. It, it's not he is not in in form in a physical form or any other form for that matter prime creator is pure intelligence and pure intelligence is all over the world everything everything is made from intelligence and love pure love when it says, not my will, but thine be done, that's the way it should have been, but thine be done. Um, that would be the cabal saying, yield to God. Yield to God. Or give way to God. Or worship God. You are nothing close to him. He loves you and all that sort of stuff, but... You're not like him, so don't don't even think like you are like him. And so that's why they say, not my will, but thine be done. My will meaning God's? Or who is it talking about? Is that somebody that's praying to God? Not my will, but thine be done? Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to use my belief as a I was a, a child of God born in his image and likeness now we we find further that when you start talking to the heavens and they ask and you ask them about these things they will take you that tell you that you are a creator as a son and son and uh, or daughter of God and born in the image and likeness of God. You came here with a portion, and I'll call it an individuation of pure intelligence and pure love. And your responsibility is to go out and create. I give you un unlimited uh, freedom to create what you want. It's called free agency. Now, if I get free agency, then there's no, if God gives me the freedom to create what I want, then there's no punishment for what I create. Uh, it, does, that, does that make sense? I get no punishment. Punishment has to do with judgment. And there's God does not judge. Uh, judgment is a, I'm not going to say a negative term, but it's not a, a it's not a graceful term. Um, and you're assigning that to God. That does that's not true. He doesn't judge. If God, if I could speak with God, which I can do, and we all can, he sees me as his perfect creation. 
perfect as I am in this body on this third dimension, in this third dimensional realm on this planet Earth. He sees me as perfect. Why does he do that? He doesn't see me as anything different. With all of the th stuff that we have to go through with life and in third dimension, there's reasons that we created it. And none of them were meant to worship God. You talk to Jesus. And Jesus will say, no, you have no requirement to, to worship me and put me above you because I'm your brother. Now, if he's my brother, I would like to be like him, but I don't worship him. He has a different calling in this life or had a different calling, whatever. And he's fulfilled that calling and gone forth and uh, he's in the inner world and he's available to come and talk to any one of us that want him to talk to us. And some of the most important things he'll say, the first thing really is, I love you. Do you know how much I love you? Well, that's sacred. But you don't worship him. That's the cabal's way of denigrating humans to the point where they cannot be or will not be the creators that God has created us to be. Uh, and I'm going to say this because I this is I've been given permission to say it, and I've been given confirmation that it's true. We're going to have a light wave that comes to the earth uh, through the portal of our planetary sun from the central sun. And that light will come, and it will change us. It will change our bodies to the perfected blueprint that God has given to us, or it has been made so that we could have a a vehicle to 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 have life in physical dimensions. Why did he do this? Why are they saying this? Well, they said specifically. It's in response to the fact that you have been under the control of the negative energies that exist in creation, and you've had that all of your lives. How many generations? I don't really know. I don't really care. The fact is, is that we have not been able to evolve. And if you don't like that word, I'm sorry. It is true. We come into the physical realms and we evolve into being the creators that we are. Had we not had the bad guys doing that, we would have everything that we were supposed to have from the very beginning. You can call me a lunatic. You can call me anything you want. I don't really care i'm a son of god born in his likeness and image i have my own personal part of his intelligence and love that makes me his son his i am a god just like my father now he's the prime creator and we are the smaller creators and prime creator does one thing, and that's create children. To create everything else that is in physical form. Nothing has exists on this earth or this planetary structure or this universe or the multiverses that has not been created by us humans as creations creators that have gone out and done what we're supposed to do. And that's to create. 
worlds without ends. That's what they say Jesus did. He's our elder brother. We're doing the same thing that he's doing. See, if you don't listen to the heavens, if you don't have a connection to listen to what they have to say to you, then you go around wondering. You're always confused. Organized religion was given to us to confuse us and to stop us from being evolving into the creations that we're supposed to be. And it's time for us as humans to put off this garbage way of living where we don't evolve into our, of who we really are. So God has given us by a gift, this light that's coming down to us, that light will make up for the lack of evolution that we should have had, had it not been for somebody else exercising dominion and control over us. It's a payback. You get to be who you should have been had you not had them involved with us. So uh, if this makes sense to you, then I, I, I hope it does make sense to you because it's true. So when you talk about my will, when somebody prays to God, not my will, but thine be done. It's like saying to somebody that's a son or a daughter, your will is just as important as your father. Well, when he's given you everything that he's got, that makes sense to me. You can find fault with that, that example. But the truth of it is, is that we are children of God. We are prime creator. We are not prime creator. Prime creation is God. <clears throat> Another little facet or information the word god door is masculine the word goddess is feminine the word god includes both of those definitions in the spirit world you're never separated into male and female it can't be done we have to come into physicality and born into uh, the bodies that we have now to be able to manifest as a male or female. So, uh, my will be done for me. I am the creator of every experience in my life. I am the creator. Nobody else can do that for me. They tell us that they can, but they can't. I'm the one that's in charge. And I show what I want by focusing on things that are that I want to have come about. Well, they took the, the, the bad guys have us focusing on the trauma and on other things that in the past, our ill health and all of this sort of stuff. What do you think that does to us? The heavens see us focusing on that. And well, I guess they want that. They're not the judge of what we want. So they say, well, you're the, you're the God. You get to have what you want. And that's by focusing on it. So uh, we need to understand who we are. And nothing can change what's coming. That's God's gift to us. Okay, that's question number one. Uh, let's go um, to number two. Thank you for that, Ron. And we will be right back with the next question from a member. <laughs> 